Hey guys, Proper English here. One of the things that we've been told about the Redstone update is that Redstone is going to become more stable. And what I thought would be fun is to go through a bunch of different Redstone behaviors in 1.4.6 and all of the snapshots. So today we're going to be comparing 1.4.6 to 13W1B. And we've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. All right, so we'll start off by taking a look at one of my favorite bug fixes. And the first thing we'll do is take a look at the bug. This is a unidirectional shift register using repeater locks. If I turn this lever on and pulse it, we shift that input into this first repeater. Now I can turn this off, pulse it again. We've shifted the one over here and the zero over here. Now let's turn this on once more. And when I pulse this, it should shift over so that this repeater is on, this repeater is off, and this repeater is on. But what happens? Well, now all three of these are on, and that is a problem. But fortunately, this has been fixed in the latest snapshot. All right, we're back in the snapshot, so let's try doing the exact same thing we just did. I'll flip that lever, pulse it, try turning it off and shift again. And now the moment of truth. What happens when we pulse it this third time? It works perfectly. And I'm super happy about this because this is a pretty cool shift register. It's nice, compact, and fast. So, awesome. Now, I've got this monostable over here. Let's take a look at some monostable circuits and see what's going on with some funky directionality stuff. All right, now before we take a look at what's going on with this circuit in the snapshot, let's see how it's supposed to work in 1.4.6. If I press this button, we send a one tick pulse and all of these pistons drop their blocks. We can rotate it and do the exact same thing over here. This is how the circuit is supposed to work. But what's going on in the snapshot? So I have to say, this one has me pretty confused. When I press this button over here, all of these pistons should receive a one tick pulse and drop their blocks, but only some of them do, and it's this strange kind of pattern. When I do the same thing over here with this rotated circuit, we get a similar thing going on. Now, I'm not really sure what's going on here. This is some pretty funky behavior. I've got to thank my friends on the RDF for showing me this one because it really is strange. I'm hoping that this gets fixed soon. But fortunately, we've got one awesome fix to check out, so let's do that one next. All right, so when I flip this lever, this signal comes down 15 blocks and turns on this repeater. This would be the 16th block, so of course this signal decays and these repeaters don't get powered. Now, what happens when I turn on another one of these inputs? Well, now we should be getting power here in this redstone, but we don't. And that's kind of strange, but fortunately, this one has been fixed. All right, we're back in the snapshot, and this is beautiful. I love this, because now we can do one-wide busing without any issues. So that's kind of fun. I'm not sure when I'm going to use one-wide busing, but if I wanted to, I could do it. Now, there is something strange that I've encountered in terms of signal strength and updates, so let's check that one out. In my last video, I showed you an instant NOT gate, and I've been playing around with building an instant SR latch, so that's what I've got here. If I flip this lever, we can reset it. If I flip this lever, we're setting it. Now, let's come over here and take a look at this one, because this one is weird. Well, if I flip this lever, we set it just fine. We can reset it over there. Now, what happens with this lever? Well, this one doesn't work. We don't save anything. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work, and this one, well, that one works. And then the strangest part is we can reset it with one of these levers. And so this is pretty crazy because I'd imagine that there's something going on here with signal strength, right? Because we're getting different behaviors from different distances. What exactly is going on? I have no idea. Now, let's take a look at what will probably be the largest part of this video derp pistons. Alright, so the term derp piston refers to a double-headed piston 
This thing is broken. I can throw down a lever over here. It does nothing. To get this piston working again, I need to break the head, and now it's all good. But until I break that head, it is broken. So dirt pistons suck. They've broken a number of my builds, and they're what has pushed me towards doing solid state redstone. That means no pistons. Dirt pistons tend to arise because the piston gets confused about what it's supposed to be doing. And so what we're going to do is take a look at some of the situations that can generate dirt pistons and how they've changed from 1.4.6 to 13W1B. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is a dirt piston that is new to the snapshot. So this is 1.4.6 and this works fine. I can do all the different orientations and no problems whatsoever. And there we go. So what happens in the snapshot? All right, we're back in the snapshot and let's see what happens. When I flip this lever, we get a derp. If I rotate it 90 degrees, no problem. Another 90 degrees, we get that derp. And then another 90 degrees. So clearly there's some direction dependence to this. And that's a common theme that we're going to see throughout these different situations. So this is a new derp that's showing up in the snapshot. Let's take a look at one that's been fixed. We are once again in 1.4.6, and let's take a look at this setup over here. Now, when I flip this lever, we get a derp piston. What happens if we rotate? Derp piston, rotate it again. That one dropped its block, and then one more rotation, that one dropped its block. So this is kind of funky. This is 100% fixed in the snapshot. So let's jump back to the snapshot and check it out. All right, we're back in the snapshot and this is fixed. These pistons now drop their blocks. It's not really an effective way of dropping the block because you can only do it once. I'm not sure why anyone would ever set up a circuit that breaks the redstone, but you can do it if you want. The only reason I've ever used this circuit was actually to create derp pistons, so I guess I'm kind of frustrated that I can't do that anymore, right? This was, this was my derp piston circuit. Now there's one derp piston circuit that I hate. This is the one that made me redo my entire ellipse drawer, so let's take a look at what's going on with that derp. Alright, so it looks like I derped and built the wrong circuit over here when I was setting up, so uh, yeah, that's kind of appropriate. I must have wiped this thing out of my mind, it caused me so much grief. But let's try it out and relive some of the horrors. If I press this button, derps, and the same thing happens in this orientation. Now I have no idea what's going to happen when I go back to the snapshot, so I'm going to cross my fingers, maybe it'll be fixed. All right, I've got some good news. It looks like this one is fixed, no issues. And I've got this repeater line set up to monitor the pulse because we know that monostables aren't all that stable right now. And we can take a look over here too, no issues. And we've got that two tick pulse. So that's pretty good. Now let's jump over and check out another one that caused me some grief. So this is the bug that made me decompact my barrel shifter. I had this super compact barrel shifter, but there was a situation where this wire was running right by a piston and it gets two heads. Two heads is ugly. I don't want any ugliness in my barrel shifter. And yeah, so what's going on here is this redstone is updating at the same time as this piston's trying to extend. The piston gets confused and apparently when pistons are confused, they get two heads. Now this is another directional one. We can check it out over here, no issues. No issues with this one. But this last one, well, this one, looking pretty ugly. So let's jump over to the snapshot and see if anything's changed. So I was really hoping that this one would be fixed, but unfortunately it's not, because I wanted to compact my barrel shifter again. I did a lot of work on that and it was pretty cool, but not yet. So hopefully by the update, this one will get fixed, we'll see. So you've got another broken piston over here. So same exact thing. 
Now this one over here is something that I discovered recently. So I discovered this in the snapshot by accident. So let's check it out in 1.4.6 first, then we'll come back here and see what's going on. All right, so I found this issue when I was playing around with some instant knot stuff and I left out this guy over here. Okay, so when you leave that out, what happens is this piston breaks. And it seems that the reason for that is that wire right down there. When that wire is not there, it's perfectly fine. All right, and it seems that there is no issue for this piston, just the one on the right, not on the left. All right, so there we go. And that has nothing to do with the fact that there's a torch over here and a repeater over here. In fact, we can switch those, fix this guy. And let's get that flipped. Okay, so let's try it again. And there we go. This one is broken. Same thing happens over here. Over here. And now let's check out this last one. Well, that one's not broken. What about this one? Well, there we go. This one's broken. We can switch this torch and this repeater. Throw the repeater here. The torch over here. In fact, I think now it matches up with the other ones that I've got over here. And so let's fix that. And there we go. This one breaks. And this one does not. Okay, so this one's kind of strange. Let's see what's going on in the snapshot, which again is where I discovered this one. All right, so we're back in the snapshot. Let's check this out. Well, now this side breaks. And this side breaks. Wonderful. Let's check it out over here. That one breaks. That one breaks. Same thing here. And let's see with this piston. There we go. And finally, over here. Well, that one's fine. That one breaks. So uh, yeah, this is kind of strange. I have no idea what's going on, but I don't really think there's a need to worry about this one because um, I'm not sure when you'd have this set up. When you'd be using the instant knots, like I said, you'd have this guy over here. And when you've got this guy, there is no issue. So let me throw this one in over here. And we can flip this all day. It does not have any problems. So we'll see what happens with this. I'm hoping that some of these derps get fixed. I'd like to see them all get fixed because yeah, it's kind of kind of bad for pistons to be breaking. So let's jump over and check out some other piston behavior, buds. All right, I'm sure you guys know much more about buds than I do because I never use them. We're in 1.4.6. We've got some glowstone on top of the piston over here. I actually do use this thing over here. I like this one. This one's kind of cool. I'm not even sure if it's a butt or not. This one, I'm not too crazy about. It still works in 1.4.6. It's too loud for me. This one is too bright. This one has too many rails in it. This is just weird. It's updating in front of the repeater. And this one, I don't even know what's going on here. It's updating on the side of the repeater. Let's hop over to the snapshot and we will see what's going on there. All right, so we're in the snapshot and some things have stayed the same. Glowstone still updates the piston. I'm happy about that one. I don't even know if this is a butt or not. Whatever, it still works. That's, that's what counts. The fence gates do nothing. Same thing with the lamps. That's intentional. This is a change that's been made. And over here, the rails still update the piston. They're also still too rarely for me. I won't be using that one. This still updates the piston. And this guy over here, the side of the repeater, does not update the piston anymore. That makes me happy because the side of the repeater should have nothing to do with updating the piston. So yeah, there have been some changes. It'll be interesting to see what happens in the coming snapshots and in the final release. So let's keep an eye on it. And finally, we've got a comparator set to subtract over here, and we get a low signal overriding a high signal. All right, so that only happens with the subtraction. Hopefully this one gets fixed soon. 
And as you can see, this bug does not exist in 1.4.6. I think that's a good note to leave off on. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.